Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a few easy kicker hits. As soon as you are able to hit kickers, you can just go and try them out. You can try your first grabs. They not only look great, but also help you to keep a better body tension in the air. For example, you can try one of the easy grabs, the indie grab. If you want to grab indie, you grab with your back hand between your boots of your toe side edge. That's the indie grab. Another easy, easy grab is the stale fish grab. Grabbing sailfish means you grab with, with also your back hand between the heel side edge of your boots and also performing a little 90 shifty. During a grab you can tweak your board. Tweaking means bending one leg and straightening the other. For example during an indie grab you could first reach for the grab, then bending your back leg and straightening your front leg. During a stalefish grab, you could tweak it. For example, if you go for the grab, you bend your front leg and straighten your back leg, performing a 90 degree frontside shifty. This also gives your trick a lot more style. You should start hitting kickers, not only regular, but also switch. It helps to release your backhand off the handle to get, a back, uh, to get a better control and a better body tension in the air. For example, if you're goofy and switch is for your left foot forward, release your right hand off the handle, try to push out of the kicker and then bring your chest over your toes for a nice and smooth landing. You should also try different approaches. So not only approaching the kicker on your heels, on your heel side edge, but also approaching a kicker on your toe side edge. Try this first in your regular stance and then try it also switch. It helps if you let go your back hand off the handle. For example, if you're going left foot forward to the kicker on your toes, release your right hand and try to keep your chest over your toes all the time, especially in the air and during the landing. Because on a toe side edge, it might happen that you have too much weight on your back leg and then slip out. <coughs> so, to avoid this, always keep your chest over your toes in the air and during the landing. Try a frontside 180, which means hitting the kicker, pushing yourself actively out of the kicker pulling the handle to your back hip, initiating the front side 180, in the air, letting go the front hand of the handle, then bending your knees, stomping the landing and keeping the, your chest over your toes. It helps you to perform a nose grab during the front side 180. You just push yourself actively out of the kicker, pull the handle to your rear hip, go for the nose grab with your front hand, Pull the nose around and land switch. Try your first flip off the kicker. This might sound a bit scary for you, but usually a flip is easier than any 360 because it doesn't require any handle pass during the trick. So for example, just try a tantrum, which is a back flip. For a tantrum, you approach the kicker on your heel side edge Short before the kicker, you flatten off your board, releasing your back hand off the handle. On the kicker, you push yourself actively out of the kicker, throw, your, throw yourself around by bringing your head around, looking backwards in the air. With this motion, you initiate the backflip rotation. Then, when you are halfway in the air, you can already spot the landing, bend your knees, and right away. That's basi basically how a tantrum is done. So yeah, it's pretty easy and technically easier than any 360. Thanks for watching my video. I hope it helps you to stick your first easy tricks off a kicker and maybe it gives you a 
some inspiration and motivation to try some new tricks. Don't forget, enjoy the process. Like, subscribe and see you next time.